everyone. Today I am going to be unboxing and swatching some new inks. These three brands are all new to be brands, so I'm really excited to try them out and swatch them. These are all inks that I purchased from Sugar Inks. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's S-H-I-G-U-R inks, and I will put a link to them below. I had not purchased from them before, and they had some brands that I had never seen before, which is why I purchased from them. So let's go ahead and get these open, and then I'll pull out my swatch book, and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna do this bigger box first. And this seemed like a fairly big box for, oh, okay, so, oh, they actually give you a little dropper, that's very nice. And then here's the bottle of ink, which is really pretty. So this ink name is, uh, so it's Color Traveler is the brand, and it's called Time for Whiskey. It's sort of a golden, orangey brown. And it looks like that's all that's in the box, but it does come in this very cute box with all of this fun stuff when you open it. Go ahead and put that box off to the side. And it is very nice that they sent the dropper. That's kind of cool. I've never seen that with an ink before. So this is Tono and Limbs ink. And this is just number four is what it's called. I'm gonna put that off to the side as well. It goes that way. And that's not as exciting as far as packaging goes, but it's certainly better for the environment to have less packaging. And then this one is Vinta inks. Oops. And this is an ink that I had been, a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while. And this is, the, the ink color is Peria, I think is how you say that. It's P-E-R-Y-A. And this looks like it has a little wrap around it. So I'm gonna take that off so that we can actually get to the bottle itself. This is kind of nice actually, because I definitely have had inks that um, spill or leak out of their bottle in shipping. So, and it looks like it also has a top on there. So I'm gonna take that off too, so we can get to the ink. All right. So in a minute here, I'm gonna put those back upright. But here is my swatch book, my handy dandy swatch book here. And then uh, my automatic pen and then my glass nibbed pen, which I'm gonna get out as well. I'm gonna put these upright because those are, I don't want them to roll off the table. Okay. And then I also have a jar of water off to the side here that you can't see. I'm gonna get this little dropper out of the way because I don't need that right, way, right away. Um, and I'm also going to take this off. It looks like it has little stickers that you could put on your converter, perhaps. I've seen that with Pilot too, they do that, um, but I had not seen that with any other brand, so I'll have to take a look in there. All right, so I'm gonna open them in the order in which I opened them originally. So let's go with the Color Traveler first. I'm gonna find a page in here. Since these are full bottles of ink. Okay, so the, even though there are two spaces here on this page, I am actually gonna go to a later page because I don't want to have to wait for those two to dry before I go off to the other page. So what I'm gonna do real quickly is I'll show you how I create these little divides on the page. I'm just actually gonna do it on this side. So what I do is, cause you can see the page before it through the page, I just use that as a guide to where the lines need to be. And because this is a dot grid, it makes it very easy to make a straight line. Okay. And then when I'm ready to swatch on the other side, I will, I will just extend the line across. So that's fairly easy there. And this is, I will put a link to the swatch book video that I have here on YouTube below. But uh, just in case you were wondering, this is a Sharpie pen, and I show that that is in the setup. 
as well. Okay, so sorry, it's hard for me to multitask. Let's see. <laughs> so this is Color Traveler. I'm gonna just gently roll them from one side to the other to kind of mix it up just a little bit in case it needs that. Um, these are not shimmer inks, but they should have some shading to them, so we'll see. So I'm just gonna dig right in there. I'll move this closer so you can see what I'm doing. I'm also gonna have to move that to the side so that I can get my hand in there. Oops. Oh, interesting. That is beautiful. I based these purchases just off of swatches from the website that I purchased them from. And sometimes those can be kind of deceptive as far as what it's actually gonna look like when you get it home. And part of that could be your monitor differences or um, how the photos were taken of the original swatches. So I'm just drying off, I'm rinsing off and drying off that automatic pen on the side there. Let's do that. And this is Color Traveler Time for Whiskey. All right, I'm going to rinse that off too and dry that off. And that is a really lovely color probably a color my husband would really like because he really likes orange and this is a very interesting orange and I was specifically looking for inks that had some shading qualities so basically the difference between shade and shimmer <laughs> um, so shading is where different parts of the word will show up with different saturations of uh, fountain pen ink so or different parts of the letters it depends on what you're writing with and how you're writing. So that's shading. Shimmer is obviously uh, with some sparkle on there. And then sheen, which is something completely different, is usually a different color that comes out and looks kind of shiny, hence the name sheen. So um, I tend to like sheening so <laughs> as well. So I'm gonna make sure not to smudge that. But like these, this would be shimmer, these here. And they do have some shading to them as well, at least in the squares. And then sheen, I mean, you can really see the sheen in something like this Diamine November Rain. So that's just sort of an example. Um, let me see if I can find another good example of shading. I don't think I have too many good ones for shade. Well, um, Sailor123, see how there's different saturation throughout the one, two, three. So that's, that's shading. Okay. So let's get back to these. I'm going to go on to number four from Tomo and Limbs. Oh, and let me just shake it just a little bit upside down. Okay. Gonna get that in the frame again so you can see. So I'm just dipping this pen in, getting a little bit of the excess off, and then drawing the square. Oh yeah, that's pretty. That is exactly what I was looking for in this color. Okay. And part of what made me look for these is what I really wanted was um, Sailor's New Ink Haha. -ha. And I was like, that can't be the only one that shades to that degree. So I went and looked for shading inks. I mean, these are obviously going to be different than Haha -ha from Sailor, but um, they do have some lovely shading properties. Is it Tono? It's Tono. Tono and Limbs. And then this is number four. Yeah, that's a lovely color. I really like that one. Okay. I'm gonna 
jar that one up. And then for the last one, Vinta per Peria, Peria, I think. <laughs> and this should be a lighter blue. Tono and Limbs, the number four, looks a little bit almost like a Payne's Gray to me, which is one of my favorite colors, so I'm not complaining at all. Okay, once again, dip and then swatch. And one of the reasons why I generally stay away from the lighter colors is that sometimes they don't always write very well. Like it's hard to read what you're writing because of how light it is. But we'll see. No, no, this, this is dark enough to be able to read. And this is Vinta. And there's definitely some shading going on there. All right, so these, those are three lovely additions. And now I'll just let these dry, and there we go. And the full shading probably won't really be visible until, at least in the squares. You can, you can already see, you can already make it out in the writing. I'm going to raise that up a little bit so you can see. So you can definitely see that the, the tone of the color is a little bit lighter at the beginning of the word whiskey than it is at the end. This one does not have as much shading in the letters. You can see it a little bit. The L is a little bit lighter than the previous word, for example. This one is also not as dramatic. You can see, although you can see the P is very clearly um, darker than the R here, for example. And as this dries, you can see more of the, the different kind of nuances that will come out of that. All right, well, that's it for today. I will link the shop link down below and uh, the link to each in individual ink that I swatched today. And then I'll also leave a link to the video where I go through this swatch book. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Feel free to like and or subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.